Right, it's the 5th of July 2017 and it's a lovely day. Tomorrow it storms thunder and lightning apparently. Friday not too bad, but today is the sunny blue sky hot day. I decided to come up the West Mendip Way from Winscombe towards Shipham and Rowbarrow. I came down here not long ago. Um, I'm just doing a small video as an introduction to July really. This is the West Mendip Way. I've spoken about it quite a few times on other videos. Um, I think I've been up here this year, but it would have been cooler. So this is a summer one. I've been down it. Within the last month, I've been down it. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. Too nice to stay in. Because I'm in a beautiful environment. Um, lovely fresh oxygen. Beauty of the trees and the plants. <sighs> yeah, hundreds of people, thousands, if not, I don't know about millions, but have walked this track. So this is the start of a walk. I'm heading for Shipham and Rowborough to walk across the area of Outstanding Beauty. Walking through Roborrow Warren Woods, following the stream in the cool, and then um, walking at the base of the fort, not climbing up it today, keeping to the sheltered areas as much as possible, and then. Heading across Blackdown Hills Be interested to see if they've um, harvested the ferns yet I Somehow I don't think it'd be too early I think And then um, Down across the fields Towards the Longwood and Piney Slight Now my rucksack is extremely heavy uphill at the moment because I've got to carry ample amounts of water. There are very few places to ask for water once you get um, up through Robero Valley past the Pink House. Basically, there's nowhere once you get exposed on the top there. Nowhere to ask for water. So I have to keep, I have to conserve. But you see, you need to take on water early. You should, but I always get very, very thirsty, I know that. But I've got four oranges. one <sighs> large bottle one small bottle of water I've had a sip at the moment I'm just having sips I mean it would be nice not to have to carry it it's really heavy but it's needed the other thing obviously this time of year and walking through if I walk through the stream area it's going to be insects biting me. I got, last time I went out over Sand Bay, I got ferocious, I got ferociously attacked. I had loads of bites. What's weird about it is I always seem to get bitten on the right side of my back, up around the scapula. Um, it doesn't seem to attack the other side. I don't know why that happens. Uh, a couple of bites on my left arm, though. 
I actually saw the insects land and bite me as well, like horse flies. And they take a long time to heal, you know. They really do. So that's, um, this is a lovely walk, by the way. <laughs> Just pointing out the uh, pros and cons of walking in the countryside, of course. Like that cow parsley. That's supposed to be toxic and give you blisters if you touch it. I don't know if it's that particular one, but there's um, a giant version. I've brought a hat, which I will put on shortly. It's levelling out a bit now. Done the big climb. Over at Shippham, the, there's a group of walkers meeting outside the village hall there. And they go out in groups of 30. I mean, you know what I mean? All talking. <sighs> yeah, all talking. Right, in the distance there is the back leading up to... Uh, if you want to go up to Crooks Peak, you cross the A38 and you climb up and get up there. I had thought about doing that walk today, but I decided that I'll be okay for another day. I really wanted a nice, gentle walk on the Mendips today. It's got to be a couple of weeks since I've had what I call a good walk. I had one over Sand Bay, but that's like, to me, just like a local walk. I like my wood walks, they're very local. Right, we're now approaching an important reference point on the West Mendip Way, approaching Shippen. And that is that lovely fir, fern tree there. There's a couple others further behind it as well, in the field. They're landmarks, reference points that I use. <sighs> this can be very muddy in the winter going down here. And I've done it, but it is beautiful. Look at the just look at all the the plant life going on. And probably insects will be flying about all over my camera when I see it when I play it back later. It's a good day for snakes. I must admit, I, I know they're up in the uh, Robert Warren, but I haven't uh, seen one, really. Uh, I've rarely seen them. They're very good at hiding. But they do like coming out on pathways, apparently, to sunbathe. So you do have to be careful on travel. I think I've been bitten by a snake in the past while on a family tree trip to... Kent. I was in a graveyard and I had this massive bite and my foot swelled up and I was, you know, camping and everything. It was a bit of a worry. This looks like a barley field here. Yeah, I, I, I actually like being out when it's hot. Someone said, oh, you're brave going out today. I thought, no, I actually like it. Right, right in the very distance, behind the big fern tree, is the the big tall pines of Robera Warren, where I'm heading. Right over there. Now there is a possibility, on the early part of the walk, of having to encounter cows in a minute when I have to go through a field which takes me down towards into a valley across a little bridge and up to uh, a continuation of the West Mendip Way after crossing a very busy Shipham to Cheddar Road but before then there's a field down here at this uh, farm not, not this immediate field where I have to um, 
there have been cows. Now, the last time I came across, there were no cows. Although I know I saw one somewhere, but I could never find it again. That always fascinates me, you know, when you come across lanes like that, I think, I wonder where that goes, you know? I'd like to follow that. It could be that that lane there links up further into Shippham. Right, so it's been quite a long video, this one. You can hear some cows, and I, fortunately, I decided not to go on an alternative route further back. There was another route I sometimes take. Um, it's higher up, so you can get nice views from up there, but um, I know that there are cows there in the summer, so, you know, I, I mean, I'm already taking a risk now by having to possibly walk through cows. Oh, just had a bloody horse fight land on me. Oh, it's bit me as well. Nasty things they are. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not, it, I've got to put up with it. You know, these bites are awful. And they come out later when you get home. <sighs> That's lovely, that picture, isn't it? Right, over and out for now. This is Sheila. In the beautiful Somerset countryside. <laughs>